Good evening. How are you? Uh, this is uh, me again. It's William. And uh, just want you to know I'm glad to be here. This is Kingdom Citizens Kingdom Cultural Center. And um, to break it down for you, um, it's the culture of the kingdom standards. Once again, go to my website. You'll find what the kingdom is all about. And what I do is give you a synopsis of what it is, what the kingdom is. So all you men out there, all you brothers, and when I say brothers, I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about Chinese. I want you Asian brothers, you Hispanic brothers, you German brothers, all of, the, all of you who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, not on a religious standard. Once again, if I didn't tell you in the last session, this is not a religious session. Uh, this is not a religious session. It's to show you how to become obedient to the king. For in order for there to be a kingdom, you first must have a king. So let that sop in a little bit. Gotta have a king. And in this kingdom, Jesus ruled. That's why they call him King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Lord of Lords. I want you to think about it. So I'm gonna say things a little kind of, you know, kind of a little slow so you can digest it. Now, some of you may not like what I'm saying. That's all right. Keep listening. But if you don't like what I'm saying, it's kind of rough around the edges. I have some Dasani water, and I always tell individuals take two a leave, and the headache will go away. Now, I want you to know God loves all of us. He may not love our actions, but remember, he is the king. And in, if you want to prosper in God's kingdom, you first must know this one key thing, obedience. It's because of the disobedience, brothers, that we are here. Now, you, you, you may blame it on the woman, but it wasn't her. God gave you the leadership authority to lead. Men, do what you do. But in order for you to grow in the kingdom, all you religious fellows out there, you're going to have to study this constitution. You're going to have to study it vigorously, like your life depended on it. Because guess what? It does. It does. See, I am so confident in this word that my purpose makes me confident. Yeah, it makes me very confident. When you know your purpose in life, young men, when you know your purpose in life, and your purpose must be glorifying to the king, now, let me say this one thing. In order for there to be a kingdom, there has to be a king. I stipulated this on our last meeting. There has to be a king. And th if there's a king, he has a domain. A domain is land. Go on the website. You'll see what is a kingdom. I'm just giving you a synopsis. And if there's land, he has to be a dominion. He's authority. He's the ruler. Excuse me for a minute. He is the authority. So the problem with, uh, uh, um, with, 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 with Jesus, the name Jesus, is that the society, the society has made his name to be a religious artifact. When you hear the name Jesus, what are the first thing you say, you think about? Religion, church, um, baptism, the building. You never think about the Constitution that God created the world and left the world here, left this here, the Constitution. You think of this as a holy book. It is. It's a royal book. It's the Constitution that God has stipulated that we should live by. 
Now, think about this for a minute. In the next session, I'm gonna give, I want you to see something. Many of us don't realize where we adapted certain things. Men, you guys, you, you, come on. Women are emotional. They think about a lot of things with feeling. But you brothers out there, like I said, I'm more than one to, re one to reiterate. When I say brothers, I'm not talking about only African Americans. I'm talking Asian, Chinese, Caucasian, uh, German, Puerto Ricans, you name it. All of those of you who have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, you don't know it, but you did not accept the religion you think is religion. No, you accepted a king in your life. And a king demands obedience. That's the bottom line. So, in other words, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna leave you with this. The word is his law and principles, not a religious book. Once again, I talk to you on the next session, and we'll get some things straightened out. Have a nice night.